Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 22635.3566. Well, this week we only have a build for the Beta channel for version 23H2, but this build includes quite a few interesting improvements and also features, which we're going to cover in this video and we're going to talk about in depth in the following minutes. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft is enabling the show the desktop button by default for insiders even if they have the copilot icon enabled on the right side, but this can always be changed by right clicking on the taskbar and then going to taskbar settings and you're going to have here in taskbar behaviors, select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop. Related to the file explorer, dragging and dropping files in the edges bar of the file explorer is now enabled for all insiders. This was tested a few builds ago but now should be available to all insiders so basically you can just drag and drop to a certain location in the address bar and as easy as that you're going to be able to move files around in Windows. Related to the start menu, if we go into the OAP section, this has received some other improvements and visual changes as spotted by Phantom Ocean 3. You're also going to notice folders inside the OAP section so I think that is pretty nice. I don't have a lot of folders, but as you can see, folders also show up here. And there are some small visual changes related to the animations and also the way that these appear in here. I think this is pretty good. The OLAP section is shaping up to be very, very nice inside Windows 11. Also inside the settings app and then Copilot options, you're going to be able to turn off or turn on the Copilot open on hover. I don't have this enabled on this machine, but I'm going to show you a screenshot from Phantom Ocean 3's Twitter. So shout out to him for providing a screenshot of this. Basically, you're going to be able to enable or disable as I've said, the ability to just open Copilot and hover or not. In this build, we also have a feature that was supposedly a Windows 11 24H2 feature, but that has been backported and that was spotted by Phantom Ocean 3. And basically that new feature is the ability to create archives inside Windows 11. I think all of you know that in Windows 11 23H2, Microsoft expanded the support for more archive formats. Well, now they are also adding the ability to create archives directly from Windows 11. So if you right click on a file and then you're going to have here this new section compressed to. You have these three formats, zip file, 7z file, tar file, and also additional options. And here you can select the location, archive format, compression method, compression level. And basically here in the archive format, you have all the supported archive formats that you can compress or create an archive as. So I'm actually really happy that Microsoft is introducing this. This is disabled by default in this build, but I'm going to make a video in the next coming days in which I'll show you how to manually enable this. And I think this is a pretty useful feature because if Microsoft continues to expand the support for this, we're no longer going to need any app like WinRAR or 7-Zip. This update also improves the widgets icon in the taskbar. They are no longer pixelated or fuzzy. We also have some more larger animated icons. Also, the widgets on the lock screen are now more reliable and have an improved quality. Related to the settings app, this update addresses an issue which was causing settings to crash when copying out text in the last few flights. And there are also other fixes in this build, but you're going to have the whole list of that in the article below if you want to check an in-depth list of all the fixes that are available in this build. We also have a few known issues in this build. I'm just going to mention that there are a few known issues related to Copilot and also widgets, but you can also check that out in the article below in the video's description if you're interested. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'm Zumanu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.